Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. And today I'm doing your July 2019 monthly general love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Love. Let's see what's going on in your love life in the month of July, what to expect. If you are a cross watcher of Leo or if you are a Leo, just take what resonates with you. I will pick up the energy that what's going on in your love life and what to expect. Because this is a general love reading, so you have to understand. It's not everyone's story. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are also given on my channel. Please guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will truly appreciate it. So getting to know each other and free yourself. Mm. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel someone is making the effort to know you more closely. I feel the masculine, right? They are coming, they want to talk with you. Or uh, if you are waiting for this person to open up, to talk with you, so you have to free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. Just don't obsessively thinking about this person. Just don't be obsessed with this person because I feel you are obsessed with this person with the codependence energy, right? Addictions are affecting your romantic life, right? So I feel like you're really thinking about this person over, over and over and over. It could be you are just overthinking, right? And I feel like you have to take control of your life. Just come into balance. It's really important. And if you are waiting for this person to open up, they will. So you have to be patient. That's how your month of July is going. Free yourself. Don't force the universe. Don't force yourself. And even don't force anyone in this relationship to come towards you. They will on the right time. So if you are overthinking or if you are thinking a lot that this person is not coming, not talking or not offering you something, so you have to be patient. It's a divine time, right? Holding back um, this relationship. Mm. Could be dealing with Scorpio, the death card, right? It's coming again and again in everyone's reading. I feel a lot of people are releasing. Look at this release, yeah. I will sense in, this, in your relationship that you have to release this person. You have to release the situation. It's coming again in your reading. Here it is. It's a death card. Release and free yourself. Yeah. You have to get over from this energy that you are thinking, obsessively are thinking about this person, missing them, want to be with them. It will happen on the right time. You have to release this uh, situation. You have to release the person. You have to basically detach from this person. It's very important. Yeah, then you will move forward. Uh, so you're waiting for this person definitely to offer you something solid and stable. There's a lot of major arcana. You have three major arcana. Your three first card, right? It's a cancer energy, chariot, number seven, right? So it could be you're dealing with cancer. It's a Pisces. Oh, water signs here. Scorpio, cancer, Pisces. This is the hangman number 12. Observe, right? So patient, you have to be patient. You have to be patient if you want to be with this person. Right now, I know you are stuck with this person. You don't know what to do. And you also don't know what to do because it's, it's not in your hands. Your situation is not in your hand. Your relationship is not in your hand. It's all about in God's timing. But I feel they will come back and they will definitely make the effort to know you more closely, right? I also feel like you have to be patiently wait to move forward uh, in the future to with this person. Your relationship will not be stuck if you will detach. If you will release this person, your relationship will be blossom and move forward. And this person will come to know you more closely. They will contact you. If you will be stuck and continuously thinking about this person, this person will never come. You will be stuck. Right? This is the law of, uh, basically, universe law. So you have to understand. You have to release the person on this belief that this person will come back. That's how universe work, right? Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Look at this, giving and receiving. It will come. If you will be patient, if you will wait this person, they will come back. It's a reward of your patience. They are coming back. They will offer you equal love. They will... Be fair with you this time when they will come back. So, but the key here is you have to release. Yeah, I know that 
Nine of Swords, Gemini, the Bra Aquarius, could be you are dealing with them. So you are still thinking about this person. You are not sleeping in the night. You feel like this person don't love you. You are not releasing this person. Basically, that's your problem. It's, it's like you are obsessively thinking neg negatively. Or it could be you are assuming a lot of negative things. Right? It's like you have to free yourself. Get over from this energy that you're not sleeping. Um, you're not eating. You're not healthy. Your mental health is not good. It's, it's not a good position that you are in right now. Or you will be. You have to release. You have to free yourself to be with this person. I told you this is the this is this is I mean this is uh, the story here. Look at this. You have to release the person, detach from it. Your relationship will move forward, not stuck. Be patient. They will come back. But you are stressing out here, right? No need to worry here. You, universe will work. Okay, universe will work. You can't work it here. You done your all work. Now just give it to release to the universe and they will work it. If this person is mean to your life, they will come back. Yeah, they will come back and they are here. Gemini. Could be you are dealing with Gemini, right? Number six, the love. It's here. Your relationship will move forward. The love is between you and this person is mutual. So don't I don't know why are you worried. Okay, so this person is defensive right now. Rest and reconsider. Nine of Wands. This person is defensive, not talking with you and not with you. That's why you are stressing out. But you have two nines here. So it's, it's mean that... And you also have two sixes here. Your relationship will be in harmony. And you are about to end the cycle with this person. And there will be new cycle. Sadness and isolation. Three of Cups. What is happening here? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, what is happening here? You are really sad. It could be there is a third party situation, that's why you are really sad. You are disappointed, you are crying, you are not sleeping in the night, that this person will choose you or the third party, they will choose you, I feel. So why are you worried? I feel they will choose you. They will give you the love that you are waiting for. If you give this person love and attention, they will come back. You have to trust the universe, just release this person. They will come back. You know, I, uh, I, I was just reading this quarter um, yesterday on Instagram. True love has a habit to come back. If this person is your true love and you truly love this person, you have to faith on the universe, release this person, they will come back. Mm, it's, I'm just saying, it's up to you what you want. Because this is not a healthy position that you are in. You are crying, you are sad. You're not sleeping, you're not releasing, you're not freeing yourself. It's, it's like that you have a fear that if you will release this person, they will <laughs> go on away from forever. It's not. If you love this person, they will come back. That's how universe work it in your favor. But you have to be patient and then see how God works, how universe work for you. So you have to get over from this energy. They will come back, right? So I really hope it resonated with you guys. Like, share and subscribe my channel. God bless you all.